Palin went after you at CPAC yesterday. Let's take a look. These experts who keep losing elections, you keep getting rehired, raking in millions, if they feel that strongly about who gets to run in this party, then they should buck up or stay in the truck. Buck up and run. So you bucking up? I, I'm not quite sure I got that, but it's bucking up, staying in the truck or running. Palin says, basically, in her first line in, in that, was that the last thing the party needs is people from the Washington establishment, didn't mention your name, but I think she was you were who she was talking about, vetting Republican candidates. Well, first of all, I live in Texas. I don't live in Washington. Yeah, second, but we, you, look, you, second, you're, all, you're a little look, dirty here now. Second, second of all, look, Sarah Palin should be agreeing with this. She didn't support Todd Akin, and when he said the reprehensible things he said, she wisely came out and said he ought to get out of the race. This is the legitimate rape candidate in Missouri. The legitimate rape candidate in Missouri. If she can play in primaries, other people can play in primaries. Now, I do have to set the record straight on two things. First of all, raking in millions. I'm a volunteer. I don't take a dime for my work with American Crossroads. I even pay my own travel expenses out of my own pocket. I thought Sarah Palin was about encouraging volunteer grassroots activity. I'm a volunteer. Second of all, look, I appreciate her encouragement that I ought to go home to Texas and run for office. I'd be enthused if I ran for office to have her support. I would say this, though. I don't think I'm a particularly good candidate, sort of a balding fat guy. And second of all, I'd say if I did run for office and win, I'd serve out my term. I wouldn't, I wouldn't leave office midterm. 